morning. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our reading. Um, the contest winners for June have been announced and the video has been posted who won. And there is a new video, video up for a July contest. Um, all you need to do is comment independence in the comments of that video. Hit like and be subscribed to my channel. Okay, let's go ahead and get to our reading for the day. Get some guidance. Journey. Yeah. Trip to other worlds, to other dimensions, to lucid dreams in the world of the astral realm. The ethereal realm. Yeah, seek out new perspectives. Take a trip. Cultivate openness. Yeah, I feel a trip coming on. I don't know where, but take a trip. I hear you. Go and get an Earth Oracle. Oh, maybe it's a road trip. I don't know, but I've been feeling it for a while now. out new perspectives okay grace yes we are going to look at all things with grace just like we receive grace yes we are all things and when you go to look at new perspectives or new opportunities or you travel to other places Always remember to show grace when you arrive. All right. True grace. It works. With a gentle hand and compassion. True grace. Oops, dropped a card. Passion. Yeah. Figured out what your passion is yet? I figured out mine. My passion is loving the divine and sharing it, obviously. And helping other people see it and feel it and heal their hearts, their minds and soul. That is my passion. Strength, mountain. Yes, we actually do have the strength of a mountain when we look to the divine and we stand firm right it's not always a mountain we have to climb we can become that mountain that mountain of strength and say hell yes i did it and look back and look at all the things you've accomplished and derive strength from that because you climb that mountain and you can climb another one use that strength all right let's go one more earth oracle really okay odd reading today but you know me i don't mind to argue right my guides have a way of getting their point across. I love them so very much. My guides and angels. The divine. Ah, freedom. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. When you, um, when you journey and you take those trips... And you look back and you see all that you've accomplished and you have that strength and you know that you can go by the grace of the divine when you meet new people or go to other places or new environments. You can enter with that grace that we received, that we were taught when we were taught to look to the divine and, and show compassion and love in all things. True grace. Show it when you arrive to somewhere new, when you seek out those new possibilities. Always go from here, from your heart center, and emit that love and let that show, that kindness, that compassion, that true grace that lives within us when we live to the divine. All right, we're going to go ahead and get a moon card for the day. And I guess we're getting a fairy blessing today. That's what they're saying, getting out the fairy blessing cards. Okay. What's our moon card for today, please? Oh, all right. Moon card for the day as we go with grace, realizing our strength as we look back to realize it's true freedom that we climb that mountain. When we look 
worship at the divine. It's true freedom. Every obstacle you face, you can overcome. When you look inside to your higher self, that inner knowing, that divine within. Oh, I pulled two cards. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. Yes, they are. And they're telling me this is the card. What do you need to release? That's a good question, isn't it? We always have something we need to release. Good, bad people, situations, um, jobs, whatever it is. Sometimes you need to release in order to keep going, to move forward and take that next step in your journey in this adventure called life, in this 3D existence as we move forward to a 5D to broaden our horizon, um, increase our awareness or expand our consciousness, so to speak to intertwine within that web of life, that collective consciousness, so that we have all the info that we need in order to continue to grow in our path to ascension and increase knowledge and enlightenment. It's really important to always keep releasing that. Oh, really? Awesome. That's why they had me do it. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. They are. That is awesome news. That means you're on the horizon of something spectacular. It means everything you've been working for is coming to an end and you're going to have it. That is awesome. Whether it was your weight loss goal or a new job or a thought process or anything, the conclusion, the ending is within reach. And that is awesome. Awesome news. You know, because when one door closes, another one opens. When you and one chapter you start a new one no matter how you look at it you know if you're journeying to a new place or a new home that conclusion's coming right you're gonna find it and when you look at it you know with compassion and know that you're safe and look at everything you've overcome life is going to be glorious it truly is there is true freedom when you walk with the divine and you look at everything with grace true grace from the divine and always remember to release the neg oh, the negativity. Let's go ahead and get our healing cards. And then we'll pull our ancestor card. I thought we were getting a fairy blessing. I don't know. We'll see. You're messing with me a bit today. Frolicking, I guess. I don't know. Goodness, I overcome my imperfections, polish my character, and feed on the positive. Thus, I free myself, allow my goodness to manifest, and become a source of joy. Through gentleness, I offer unconditional support, understanding, and love to myself and others. Well, that's perfect. That goes right along with grace and showing grace, and to enter a room gracefully, or a new opportunity, or a new environment with grace with that goodness in your heart and yes it is all in god's hands my trust in life is implicit god's greater knowing and my greatest love guide my heart and my choices my faith is steady and i remain true to my light everything unfolds according to god's will and it does i mean the source is it's the only one there is i don't care how you look at god i don't care how you perceive him there is only one religions create war spirituality does not we are all on a spiritual path doesn't matter how you view him doesn't matter how you view her doesn't matter how you view the divine the source because there's only one and we're not going to argue about that all right ancestor card okay they're telling me to read you that other card maybe i will it's an odd reading today, so maybe we'll go for that. Let's get the Ancestor card. The Path to Light is the other card, so we are on the Path to Light. And it can be fraught with turmoil and heartache and heartbreak and joy and love and happiness. Grandmother Grace. That's awesome, right? Um... 
grace and grandmother with true love, true kindness, who always looked at her grandchildren with love in her heart. To shower them with this love, no matter what they do, just hold them. And grandmother, grandmother earth, if you will, right? Your grandmother. And it's with that grace that we should go about things the way the grandmother looks at us with all love. All love. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That one's going to bring tears to my eyes. It is indeed. Um, no, I did not really know my grandparents. I knew them a little bit. Maybe that's why I refer to the earth so much. My mother, my grandmother, my love, my heart, my soul, the divine within. The God who accompanies her and gives her all things and breathes life through her. Something like that. I don't know if you can breathe it, but give it, birth it. Sometimes my words don't make sense. It's okay. We know what I mean. Let's go ahead and get our fairy blessing. Yeah, this whole thing is about grace. Showing that goodness and that kindness. That know, knowing that we've reached that mountaintop and looking back and realizing that we've come through it with a clear aura, a, a cleaner heart, a cleaner spirit, if you will. And to know that true goodness and grace is what you need to show others. Always. All right. Did I cut these? They're telling me not to. Oh, a blessing of belief. Now it makes sense. Yes, a blessing of belief from the fairies. And that's awesome, right? Because it is time to believe in the other realms. This is not talking about believing in God. This is not talking about believing in divine. This is talking about believing in journeying. This is talking about traveling to other worlds, to other dimensions, to other realms to the ethereal realm, to the astral realm and beyond. This is talking about traveling without yourself, without your body. If, if you know what I mean, if it's making any sense, a spiritual travel, if you will, and belief that you can. And that is really a true blessing, a blessing of belief. And, you know, if you're having trouble believing in the divine, it can be that too. I'm not saying it's not that, but this to me today is a belief in yourself that you can travel to other places without leaving your home in your body. When you focus and you enter that meditative, um, transcendental meditative state, is that the term I'm looking for? I think it is. I'm not real positive on that one, but I'm gonna go with it. That's what I believe they are talking about. And it's real important. It truly, truly is when you start to see things and you question whether or not they're real. I want you to know they are. Believe it. You're not going crazy. There's just a lot out there that nobody ever told you about. Nobody ever explained it with love and compassion before. Maybe they they made to try to make it evil. Maybe they tried to make it dark. Maybe they tried to tell you it was against God's will or against God's word. And I'm here to tell you. That's false. It's not accurate. There is true divine wisdom when we look within to our higher self. Don't believe that crap. I believed it for a long time and it's bullshit. I hid who I was and I won't do that anymore. And I don't want you to either. We are children of light. Divine beings of light. And we can do so much with our power within the divineness that lies within us. When we look inside the web of life, that matrix of life, that ancestral DNA, master DNA of the universe. When you see it and you realize that, you realize everything else is just pure fucking bullshit. You love God with all your heart and soul. Please do. And love the earth, moon, and stars just as much for the goddess within all of us. Because that's where life came from. Just saying. No matter what you believe, shine like a star. Love and light. 
Uh, yeah, love, I, they keep telling me to get one more card, and I don't know what they want. I really don't. Oh, they want this card red. Of course they do. A path to light. The path to light. I make the conscious choice to move toward the light one step at a time. I make a conscious choice to move towards the light one step at a time. I transform my weaknesses into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. Nah, that's why they wanted me to read it. Because you are going to start traveling and seeing other places. And they want you to go with grace. And to always look with positivity. And continue to turn everything to light within yourself. That little girl inside, that little boy inside is healing and it's okay to come out and play. And I do mean play amongst the stars. That's what I'm referring to. It's okay. It's okay to journey off and travel and see what might be out there. It's okay. Love and light. Bright blessings always. I wish you the very best always in life. Namaste.